Yo, what is up guys? Shinobi Eevee here back again on another video for you guys. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with a Max Transcendent 7th Anniversary Ichigo. I actually just pulled his last copy that I needed to max him out while summoning for Nini and OL. And I'm still trying to get Nini. I'm at like step 9 right now. So if we do get Nini, we'll probably get to get a showcase done. But if I don't get her, I mean, it is what it is. I'm only trying to go 10 steps because I'm trying to save orbs for whatever they might have for the end of the month banner for October. Because you, know, you already know a thousand year blood war being done and all the material, or at least core two anyways, with all the material that they could probably do, Quincy's, new sweeper stuff, you know, all that. You already know that they're going to you know pull some more OP stuff out of the works. But um, if you guys do enjoy my video, please like, subscribe to the channel for more. We've already done our core two review. As well as, you know, ranking it out of 10. All that good stuff. As well as, you know, all our reactions. we got a whole playlist if you want to check that out. You know, Sword Online is also coming out in two days. So, um, got a lot of grinding that we're going to be doing for that. So, if you guys do enjoy my reactions and or my gameplay, then make sure to uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. You know, comment down below. All that good stuff is good for the channel. Um, but, let's go ahead and get into this video here. So... Obviously, you know, mind unit, one of the best mind units in the game. Um, Quincy Ichigo essentially with Soul Reaper powers, which I like. If they could do some parallel universe stuff with this, like what if scenarios, this would be probably one of the better ones, in my opinion. That would be interesting seeing Ichigo fight with a bow would be nice. But as you can see, Soul Reaper and a wrong card killer, um, got a lot of attack, which you know is mostly due to the fact that they would never give me spiritual pressure on this, like they gave me stamina the whole entire time so i was like you know what we're just settling with the attack we're just gonna have to settle for it but uh we got him maxed out with this as for what he does have he has the immobilizer and endeavor for every five seconds sprinter plus one havoc which is pretty good uh we gave him full stamina damage boost obviously and then he also has share complete status immunity which is nice frenzy bombardment debilitator sharpshooter hit, hit enemies which is also nice he also has the status element spiritual pressure boost and then um we got all these items down here we're gonna be taking a look at so um, you know, going Lieutenant's Badge, Wooden Sword, and Hollow Bait, because they will not give me, they they just won't give me the damn bait for the other one, so, once again, the reason why we have a lot of attack is just due to my accessory luck just being absolute garbage, but even still, this character hits hard, as for what we got, we got normal attack damage, strong attack damage, and strong attack damage recharge on there, um, but other than that, let's go ahead and test this character out on the Inheritance, Trials, and Zones, and see what damage he's doing. With a 500 attack, like, a lot of people usually run him with the spiritual pressure, but in this case, we got a lot of attack on him, so I'm curious to see uh, what we're looking at as far as damage is concerned. But, let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, so we are back, and as you can see, I guess some enemies must have been moving around, or each ghost thing must have propped, but we are finally in here. And just by standing in place, ladies and gentlemen, did I get a boost, so let's go ahead and get straight in here. So, uh, as you can see, second strong attack, you know... Chasing Vortex essentially takes care of a lot of these enemies, but if that doesn't work, full screen basically, you know, one of the most beautiful full screens I've seen in the game, just taking care of that. And I mean, for the most part, I mean, this character, especially at max, we just lost our full stand, which kind of sucks there. I mean, this character still at max, though, is pretty nice, but uh, let's keep it moving. You know. Like, look at that, just absolutely just dog walking him, but uh, let's not waste any more time trying to get right through this. The only thing we don't like about this, and I feel like a lot of people share this sentiment, is his first strong attack having that little, like, it doesn't hit everywhere. Like, you gotta, you gotta hit it at an angle, or sometimes it will miss. Like, you gotta hit it at an angle, but even still, like, this character is pretty damn busted at max. Like, it's really busted. Let's get our full stand back. Yeah, full stamina's back. Let's try not to... Oh, no. We didn't even get it back. They, they give us nothing off of that. But that pretty much takes care of those guys in the corner. But, yeah. Now, this little corner attack... If they change this... If they had changed that attack to, like, anything else. Like, maybe a straightforward attack or something. Like, Unohana's, um S1. Hey, it'd be crazy. But, even still, character's still pretty decent. Like, the Vortex basically makes up for it. And so does the full screen, obviously. And, you know, the fact that he gets full stam. Which is nice. Would be even better if they give him Lacerate or Drain. That'd be even crazier. But uh, let's go ahead and get this Soul Bomb real quick and see what damage it is. One of the most beautiful Soul Bombs. Like this anniversary, in my opinion, probably was even more hype than the eighth anniversary. Like, don't get me wrong, eighth anniversary was hype, but the hype that 
came for the seventh anniversary when they revealed this Ichigo and Ryu. Oh my lord. Like the music was busting. Like I actually still have the seventh anniversary music that I play every single time I get into this game, bro. Like, oh my god, the music was good, the designs were good. Like they just made a such a good trailer. Now, once again, I'm not saying that the eighth anniversary was bad, bad by any measure, but I felt like the music was there, designs were there, I was it was all good. It was all definitely good. But let's go ahead and get another one. We'll try and see what another run of this would be looking like because uh, I want to try and see what the timings are looking like. And if we actually just play this character like we normally would play. But, I mean, other than that, this character's pretty damn busted. Especially at Max Transcendent. If you can get Spiritual Pressure on, which I'm going to try and do. Um, and even attack, like, you guys can see it. The attack basically buffs, you know, the strong attacks. But Spiritual Pressure is better. But even if you get that, it's like... This character is just busted. Just a pretty busted character. But let's go ahead and get straight into this. I'm gonna try and not lose my full stamina this time. So I'll play a little bit more careful, but at the same time, get some stuff done. Launch a couple of those, get out that, move it. But yeah, no, this character, like the fact that he just walks into a room and then just gets the spiritual pressure, like that's so good. And we lost our full stamina, damn it. Damn it. That's the only thing that kind of sucks with this character. So if you lose the full stam, your damage kind of gets knocked down. But that's also just me not playing my best. <laughs> but like, look at that. The fact that I just walk over somewhere and it's just like, oh, boom. Ooh, we got full stam back at that time, actually. But th this attack right here, it works in a hallway. But like, if you try, you have to throw it at an angle once again if you're anywhere else. Which is the only thing that kind of sucks about it. But once again, the, only, like, the vortex saves this character and... Once again, like, you gotta angle it, but... Vortex saves it. Full screen saves it. Not to mention the... The, the SA-1, it comes back pretty quick. So it's not that much of a problem to launch it a couple of times in a row. But, like, there's other SA-1s that we have seen that do just a lot better. Due to the fact that they just hit in a certain way to where you don't have to worry about missing. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Straight into Uryu. And let's see what we're doing, actually, with full stam damage here. Looking at, like, 100 is okay. 100 is okay. Now, also, you can, you know, throw in the extra stats from characters on yours, like your links. Um, this character could definitely get even stronger than what we're showing here. But, for the most part, I mean, not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. But, other than that, that's pretty much going to be it for this character. Um, pretty busted if I do say so myself. One of my favorite designs is all time, not to mention it's an Ichigo. So, you already know we love getting our Ichigo collection up there. But, um, that's pretty much going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, if you do got this character, he's really, really powerful, even at one. Like, even if you get him once, he's pretty powerful. And the best part is you can actually get this Ichigo off of the tickets. Like, you can get him off of tickets. He is a premium pool character. So, if you do not have him within get him for the anniversary, there's a chance that there might be a banner, like the one we have right now, actually, that will have him on it. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, and stay cool, y'all. Peace.